Hi, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. What's the Christian and Catholic connection to the celebration of Veterans Day today on November 11th? Well, Veterans Day is a celebration of all those who have fought in the military, so former soldiers. And it was established officially in 1954, but it was a new name for a day that was already celebrated in the United States called Armistice Day. So Armistice Day was a celebration of the memory of the treaty that ended World War I. On World War I, was, a treaty was signed on the 11th hour of the 11th day in the 11th month, November 11th at 11 a.m. That ended World War I. And so afterwards, Woodrow Wilson, a year later, marked it as the first Armistice Day. And thereafter, it was celebrated as a day to celebrate those who fought those who gave their lives, and especially as a day to remember world peace, to focus on world peace and give thanks for that. Now, why November 11th? Well, through for many, many centuries, November 11th was a day to sign treaties. Why? Because it's also St. Martin's Day. St. Martin of Tours was a soldier in the fourth century, a Roman soldier in the fourth century, who left the military to be a soldier for Christ, to be fully dedicated to, to God. So he was a veteran and really an example of peace. And so the connection here through many centuries of Veterans Day, which is a day to celebrate and remember those who have fought in the military, also was a remembrance of Armistice Day, the day in which World War I was ended, a celebration of world peace, a celebration of all of those who fought in that war and the wars that following. And then prior to that, November 11th, and still is today, the feast day for St. Martin of Tours, that, that Roman soldier who left the military, became a former soldier himself, and then dedicated his life to serving God. That's the connection to Veterans Day, a celebration of a, a feast day for a former soldier, a veteran himself, St. Martin of Tours. Go make disciples. God bless.